What's up guys? Mike McIntyre here from All Things Sports bringing you a brand new video today to talk about what's on my feet for May 2017. I've been really, really busy in the last month or so. I've had a lot of work to do, so it's just been hard for me to get out and do an actual play test review. I like getting out and giving you guys some actual playing shots of what's on my feet for this series, but this month it's just been so difficult for me to get out. On my feet for May 2017 was the Adidas Ace 17.1 with the leather upper. Now I got this shoe about six to eight weeks ago, and so far I absolutely love it. I'm really, really impressed with it. I haven't worn a leather shoe since the Adidas Predator Addy Power way back in 2011, I believe. And this is my first leather shoe since, so I've absolutely loved my experience in them so far. They fit really, really well, and they are honestly just a fantastic boot, and I really, you know, I encourage everyone to try this. I think it's a shoe that's perhaps overlooked a little bit. In the latest Dust Storm pack, they didn't even release a leather upper, so I'm, I hope they continued it. The Adidas A17.1 in the leather upper obviously has leather in the forefoot. This black area that you see right here is all kangaroo leather. So from this seam over here, it travels across the forefoot to this seam right here. That's all kangaroo leather with an internal support cage. So there's no stitching to keep its shape. It's got these nice little folds and creases in it just because of how soft the leather actually is. And with some use in it, it really, really becomes a very, very good upper. So that's the forefoot and toe box area. Back two thirds of the shoe, all the green area, is this control skin upper. So that's really, really good. It's nice and comfortable. It gives the shoe this needed stability and durability for the midfoot and heel area. So it's a great combination of nice soft leather in the forefoot where you need it, and then the stability and durability and rigidity and all that sort of good responsive stuff that you need in the back half of the shoe. So I really, really think it's a great upper material, great design, control skin upper with the coating to keep it nice and strong and durable and all that. It's got non-stop grip dots along the control skin part, not on the leather just because there's no real way to coat the leather. It's this one piece upper construction so the laces are integrated in there. I really, really like the cut of the heel. It's got this S curve right here and it hugs your Achilles tendon really, really nicely. The height is perfect. I like this tech fit system they have to sort of just wrap your foot and keep it in place. The inside of the shoe back here has got this very nice suede material. The sole plate is nothing new to Adidas lovers. We have an external heel counter right here. We've got the same sprint frame that we all know and love. It's got rigidity bars right here through the midfoot just to give you that needed stability. You have conical studs throughout the entire sole plate, four in the heel, three along the outside, three along the inside, and one pivot stud in there. And this is just a no-nonsense stud pattern. In my opinion, it's the best stud pattern you can get. So it's a fantastic stud pattern. This shoe is really a great package overall. I'm a little bit concerned about durability in a way, how the leather just stays attached to the sole plate right here. There might be some rippage over here, but so far they've held up pretty, pretty well. There's a little bit of space here where I can get some turf pellets in just because I play on both you know, mainly artificial turf and some grass every now and then, but mainly artificial turf. The stud pattern's not an issue. It's an artificial slash firm ground stud pattern. So that's not the issue. It's just the way the leather reacts on turf. And I know from past experience that leather shoes on turf tend to be a little less durable. So I get that, I understand that, and I just hope these things hold up. So far, I haven't had any problems. So really, really good and it's a fantastic offering. I really encourage anyone out there who likes a leather boot, a control silo, something that's both responsive and comfortable at the same time, I really, really encourage you to go out and try this shoe. I've absolutely loved it, and I've used it, like I said, for May 2017 entirely. It's the only one I've worn, and it's been a fantastic experience in this boot, and I really, really can't wait to keep wearing it. It's just been that good. So thank you guys very, very much for watching. This is Mike McIntyre with All Things Sports. What's on my feet May 2017? Take care for now. I'm signing off. We'll see you in June. Thank you guys very, very much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If so, smash that like button, leave a comment, and consider subscribing for more videos. See you guys next time on All Things Sports by Mike McIntyre.